What's going on YouTube? I can't believe it guys, I've been trying to do this video for a very, very long time. And finally, I think this is the most appropriate time for me to actually do it and talk about it. First of all, I've been on YouTube since 2006. That's before Google even bought YouTube. Anyways, so let me explain to you guys what's happening. This goes way back. This is going to be, by the way, if you haven't noticed, it's about the fake pranksters on YouTube. They're going viral. They're all over the place now. There's so many of them and they're messing up YouTube for everybody so let me just give you a quick history about it first of all it all started back when uh, Vitaly did that gold digger prank a lot of people started saying okay it's fake it's not there was a whole uh, debate about it online if it was fake or not nobody had some proof if it was if it wasn't so they let it be after that one year later 2014 Sam Pepper he gets into a whole big problem he opens a can of beans and he just messes up everything for himself and for other, for other people. He goes out and he does a video about him grabbing women in the streets and whatnot. And a lot of people did not like that at all. He goes on the news and some people even uh, file you know, uh, complaints for sexual harassment. YouTube suspends his account. His videos get taken down and whatnot. Basically, he gets in so much heat. He comes out. You see this lady right here? He shows a video, and uh, Philip DeFranco talked about this. Well, by the YouTube community. And then he posted what he called part three, the reveal, where he said this was not really a prank, but more a social experiment. In the video, he claims that everything was scripted, everyone was in on the joke, and it wasn't just random people. He points out that... You guys seen that? Those ladies that were there, he points out that they were in on it. They were actors. They knew what was happening. Guess what? That's all bullshit. Uh, if he didn't get any heat, he would have not told anybody that it was fake. And that makes sense, right? Any other YouTubers are not going to tell you that they're doing fake pranks. It just makes sense. Let's keep going. And then you guys will realize where I'm getting with this. So later on, in November uh, of uh, last month, Tech Insider comes out with an article about this guy making uh, YouTube and basically he's exposed on TV. He made himself blind and I'll, I'll put the link uh, for the video, you can watch it in the description. But he gets this exposed of renting actors to do his videos. Philip DeFranco comes out and states the obvious, like seriously, you guys should have already known this. Here, I'll let you guys hear it. Humble, even though they get millions of views, but oh my god, some of them are so fake. This includes people like Roman Atwood, oh my god, an amazing guy. Fousey, oh my god, an amazing guy. So the news here is not really news to most old school tubers that have been watching for a while. Many pranks on YouTube are fake. That said, most people won't give a shit. You get it? <laughs> We've been on YouTube for a very long time. These guys, a lot of them, have just started paying actors, okay, to get more views and more views makes more money it's so much money it's crazy so uh, everything is cool you know he got a lot of heat for saying this and stating Fuji Tube's name and Roman Atwood's guess what later on he writes here to the Barbaras and Roman army who sent me some fantastic hate and a few death threats I love you smile more also if you all if you think all the pranks have been real you are silly people I'm not gonna get into that yet but this guy Danny I got your back for now at least until my vid gets deleted. So what Danny did, okay, to prove, because he's seen the backlash he was getting. I mean, Philip DeFranco, he even got a um, copyright claim from FuzzyTube and other, uh, I think Roman as well, to take down that video stating that, you know, their videos were fakes and whatnot. So this guy, Danny, comes out with a video right here with an actor that was hired by FuzzyTube. Okay, finally, one of the actors came out and he stated that he got $30 for acting in the Uber prank that FuzzyTube did. It's not a surprise, but some people are being surprised and they're like, what? Is this really happening? And then now Twitter is going crazy. You got people from, uh, like this guy right here, uh, Scarce, he's, he has about 400,000 subscribers. You got this guy, Swerve Gaming. Um, even, even look, even other YouTubers like Limitless, he came out here and he said, people still think pranks are real. They're almost all fake. I hope more actors come out and take a stand. <laughs> it's kind of obvious that all, majority of them are now all fake just to make money. Now look, don't get me wrong. I, I can care less. You guys can do, they can do whatever they want. As, as like Philip DeFranco said, you guys want to make videos. People love it. There's people that love this. Uh, you know, they, they don't care. They just love the people. They're nice people, by the way. Fuzzy Tube and all of them, they're cool people. N nothing against them. But you're, what you're doing is this. First of all, 
you're making YouTube like TV, okay? Because t what's on TV is fake. And a lot of people, they know it's fake, uh, right? It makes people laugh, and that's fine. And people are all cool with that. But you're ma when you do it on YouTube, you're making it seem like it's real. And that's where the problem comes in. Okay, you're at, you're making this. You're saying this is a real prank or whatnot, and it's not. And it's you're using actors. That's where the problem comes in. Uh, some might think it's real, and then uh, they might go out and try to do these pranks. And let's say if it was a dangerous prank, and a lot of people are doing dangerous pranks now, and they're paying actors to actually do them. And let's say somebody says, "Oh, okay, let me try this," and he goes out and do it, and he gets in big trouble. You just messed with somebody. I don't know if you guys remember this guy, uh, Josh. He made a video about giving a homeless man $100. They received over $140,000. A lot of people came out talking about how it was fake. Even the brother of the homeless man came out and saying you know, how it was a fake video. It was all over the news uh, because it, it, went, it went viral. It got so much, so many views. Guess what? The guy has died. The, guy, the homeless guy was found in an alleyway. He was dead. Look, a lot of people believe that they gave all this money away and at the end it was a fake social experiment. It wasn't real. Anyways, uh, there's still people out there that are actually very good YouTubers. Um, my favorite is Casey Neistat. You guys should definitely go check him out. I think this is one of the most original and uh, motivational and he motivates other YouTubers all over YouTube with his vlogs and his editing skills and, and everything. He's just very talented. Definitely check him out. Sam uh, Pepper, he, he's at it again. He, there's another video about him killing his friend. It's a fake prank. Anonymous, they said something about them coming out trying to take him down or they're threatening him to whoever, whatever they're gonna do with him. So if you guys want to watch that video, I'm gonna link it in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys later.